My real name is Flavio Wirtz. I'm the editor-in-chief and press officer of NIP. So from that you can guess I do everything related to homepage, social media and of course also uh, when some press wants anything from us I'm the first guy to talk to. Uh, can you tell us a little bit like um, how long you've been in the business for um, let's let's say for gaming, the esports in general? Well, that's actually quite a long time. I probably joined professional or semi-professional esports in 2011 uh, with the British Org. Uh, this was just like small level. Uh, then I went on to TT Sports Dragons, which was kind of bigger org, where I did the same as I did here, editor-in-chief. Uh, then I worked for Team Very Games and now since August 2013 I'm working for NIP. So uh, I'm more or less three years with the professional esports scene. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about uh, the gaming scene at the moment? What do you think about it? Do you think there is uh, much more potential than there is right now for um, CSGO to uh, reach may uh, maybe some level like Dota or League of Legends? Well, I mean, if you look at these boards at the moment, it is pretty clear that League of Legends is just at the moment the top you can reach. Uh, Dota 2 is quite big as well. It has a lot of people. Uh, we ourselves don't have a team in Dota. We have League of Legends and CSGO, of course. CSGO is just massively growing. Um, we've reached over 200,000 viewers on Katowice. That was just a big, big number for CS. Uh, we are bigger than StarCraft with that in terms of viewership, so I guess CSGO has a bright future and that's where we work on. We work on League and we work on CSGO and at the moment we are not planning in expanding. Alright, well uh, we noticed that you have a new webpage coming up. Um, is there something else we can expect from NIP in the future? Uh, well, we got NIP.gl, we launched it in February, that's our new homepage, that's our little baby so to speak. Um, there are, of course, always stuff going on, but most of the stuff is like uh, just in the starting planning phase, so it will take like at least half a year, a year to really progress on it. But uh, it's all homepage related, what I can talk about, of course. But there is a lot of stuff going on. All right, um, about the team so far, uh, your personal opinion on how everything is going. Do you think that um, there is uh, a chance that uh, NIP will be much, much bigger in the future or do you expect that NIP has reached their maximum levels uh, right now? Well, on one hand, on the organizational level, we can still grow. I mean, you've seen we've announced a lot of new sponsors recently. Uh, and I don't know if uh, really much more is coming there, but I think there are a few more in line. And from an organization point of view, I think we still have the potential to grow. The question is how fast and how we want to grow, because uh, the risk is always that you grow too fast and then you're just dying at once because you can't like handle it anymore. So we probably just follow a steady grow as we did now. We've got CSGO, we've got League of Legends, so we're quite a big already. And uh, in terms of the teams itself, we got for the League of Legends guys, we expect them to, to be back in, uh, in LCS in summer, I guess. Uh, they're going to play promotion right after the Copenhagen game. So I really hope it goes out well for them. Really nice guys. Uh, the CSGO team, I mean, you can say they're not top one anymore. I would still stay there top one. Every tournament we attended was a top four placement, uh, even though recently we just placed second. But I mean, come on, in second place, it's still a lot. Uh, of course, our, our goal is to be top one again. And I hope Copenhagen Games will be the tournament for us to, to come back on top. Uh, what can we expect from NIP this year in Copenhagen Games 2014? Here at Copenhagen Games, um, I don't know, like for, from the CS guys, I guess um, finals should be in. Like it really depends on how the brackets turn out. Uh, are we going to face uh, teams like Virtus Pro Titan in the semi-finals uh, or even earlier, which of course would make it harder. But I think we can, uh, the guys can make it into the final. For League of Legends, um, let's be honest, the teams which are here are not the LCS teams. Those are playing promotion and, uh, uh, no, not promotion, uh, playoffs at the moment, the LCS teams. So we got here, we got Reason Gaming, uh, we got Cloud9, uh, we got our team, which are probably going to fight for the top two spots. And I guess we're going to finish uh, at first or second place. Um, well, um, there's one thing I wanted to ask uh, personally is like, um, you've been playing games uh, probably yourself for a very long time. Uh, is there any particular game that uh, you personally enjoy the most? Well, if I 
think back, I've played the longest Battlefield 2. I've played a really, really lot of Battlefield 2 and it was much fun with, with all my friends from Switzerland. Uh, that's where I live. I'm not Swedish, I don't speak Swedish, which is sometimes a bit hard with NRP, but it works out well. Um, at the moment, I most enjoy playing CSGO and from time to time a bit of League of Legends, but that's about it. All right, is there anything you want to say to our sponsors and, uh, of course, the fans and everyone that is watching the interview and following NIP? Well, of course, thanks a lot to our fans. I mean, I can see how the fan base is growing uh, due to the statistics I look at basically every day. Uh, thanks to you for the interview, of course, and thanks to our sponsors, Steel Series, Complet, BenQ, Telia, United, Gunner and AK Racing. They're really great guys. And I look forward to, to a good cooperation with all those sponsors.